All right. Okay, so the next one is actually one of the biggest hives. And this hive actually was the, the hive that we that we purchased. We 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 kind of bedded on our on our luck with mail order bees. And uh, these bees right here are those mail order bees. I'm gonna puff them a lot because these these bees are big. Three boxes. And uh, when I checked them July 4th, both these were full. So that's pretty good growth. That's pretty good growth for uh, for only a couple months of, of work. I'm gonna stock this up with some. I'm gonna put some straw in here. And also, what we use, people ask, why do you got straw bales? I've had that happen uh, probably three or four times, I think. It's come up in the comments box. Why do you use straw bales? Well, straw bales, for anyone that doesn't know, are, who? Oh, go that way. Um, <laughs> straw bales are a very good insulator. And what happens is during the winter time, uh, the bees have space here in between the hives that we, that we give them on purpose. However, we actually put the straw bales right in these gaps here and they fit perfectly and then we'll actually put some in the back so that the, the straw actually acts as an added insulated barrier and, the, um, and the, uh, the bees have a much better chance of survival. Alrighty, so this hive right here was uh, one of the, the mail order hive. However, um, what we found is that they, they grew really quick in the beginning and they needed more space. However, as I'm looking, I think they're probably done building for the year. I really don't see a whole lot of building up here uh, because most of their most of their work most of their work has kind of come to a standstill since July 4th. They've kind of stayed down in the bottom box there, and they do have a little bit here. They're a little feisty, but they do have a little bit of work. They're they're packing this full of honey here, but. Uh, oh, there is some honey right there too. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're they're putting honey here, but not a whole lot. Probably not enough to justify keeping this box on. I'm probably going to consolidate. I'm probably going to take some of those uh, frames down there, and really just put the most packed ones. Um, and that's kind of probably what I'll do, because they're not really they're not really filling these out uh, tremendously well. And also, mind you, these are plastic. Yes, I know. Uh, that's a big no-no now. We are not doing any more plastic frames. Plastic frames are, uh, they're a huge, th sorry about that, Cindy. I didn't realize the smoke was drifting in front of the viewers' faces. The plastic frames, the bees, like I like I stated in, uh, in the other bee video that I was talking about, the bees actually will vibrate and they use the resonance of the frames to be able to communicate from one side of the box to the other. And so they use it to regulate temperature, humidity, and a whole lot of different things. So uh, what they what they have a hard time doing is basically tuning the tuning the, the plastic frames. And that uh, is probably one of the biggest reasons that I don't see a whole lot of growth on these frames because as you'll notice in some of the other frames, they chew holes in the side. They actually leave holes uh, in the beeswax between the, the wood siding and, uh, and where they start building. And they'll chew little holes here and there. And that's actually space for air to flow through and uh, and for bees to come and come and go. These frames here, you'll notice, these frames have no holes. And so what I might do is I might take a drill bit and just do this as a test. I might take a drill bit and drill some holes through here on the edge like they would do normally to see if that improves airflow and see if it brings them up and actually allows them to build these. Because look at these aren't even built out. This is just a waste to be honest that these are even here. So I'm probably gonna throw these out and uh, next week, when I get a chance to get some more frames built, I'm gonna replace these frames with some wooden ones. So the very last hive is a hive that I got from uh, Flint, Michigan. That's where I got this one from. So Flint, Michigan has some very, very happy bees because bees actually swarmed on me. <laughs> I'm a bad beekeeper. <laughs> these ones got so full uh, while we were gone that they actually swarmed. And uh, that's a good thing for beekeepers. That means the bees are repopulating the earth. They went somewhere, don't know where they went. They probably found a rot out log in some forest, but uh, they're not here. Uh, so so the colony is has kind of been in reboot mode. 
ever since then. And uh, that's fine, because I, I don't keep my bees for honey. I keep them to basically repopulate the earth uh, with, with more bees. This box here, almost no growth has been done. Uh, I'm going to, in fact, probably take this box and, and swap some of the frames out uh, with this box that actually really does need it because um, they're just not, they're just not um, using this, this box very effectively. In fact, I can't even get this box off. They've kind of just, uh, they've really propolized the daylights out of this thing. All right, I'm gonna get some more smoke because I'm definitely making them angry. Okay. Ugh. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so we got ourselves a mess on our hands. Uh, a big mess. So here's what's happened. The bees have decided that it was a great idea to build out comb where there was a gap here. And they built out comb in a spot that had no comb. So what I'm gonna have to do is I have to be very cautious to make sure the queen's not on here. I do not see any eggs, but, oh, this is just a mess. Here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to cut this off. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna slide it. I'm just gonna slide it right down in there. And they'll just do what they were doing before with it. Just gonna slide that right down in there. And again, I don't care about honey. This, they're gonna do what they're gonna do with this. So for all of you that wanna know what my opinion is on plastic frames, that's a trash pile. So uh, don't use them. In fact, I will reiterate again with my stance of defiance against that absolute garbage. They don't, they don't work, None, nothing. Don't, don't even waste your time. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take good quality wood frames, since bees build, tree, they build their hives in trees, being wood, not some industrial petroleum product. Uh, we're going to swap these out here with some good quality wood frames with wax foundation from the other hive, and hopefully they will appreciate that. If not, then they're ungrateful. <laughs> so we're just gonna slide these babies in here. Give them a little bit of space to build out, get all happy and friendly. There we go. So there, there's that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take this frame right here. And we're gonna fill this up with more wood frames because wood beats plastic every single day of the week. Slide those over. Slide those over. And hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, uh, I can make another bee video in a, in a little while, kind of updating you on the, the final things before the season. And uh, we will talk to you all later. This is Luke from the MI Gardener Bee Yard, hoping you all are growing big or going home. And I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.